Hey, this is Rob, and today I'm going to show you how to successfully pass the CompTIA Security Plus certification. First off, when preparing for the Security Plus certification, you need to get yourself a copy of the objectives. Okay, these are the CompTIA Security Plus 501 objectives that CompTIA puts out that give you a baseline for what material is going to be on the test. Okay. Um, basically, if you scroll through the objectives, um, it will show you here the breakdown, the uh, actual exam objective, objectives from objective 1 to objective 6. Threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities is 21%. Technologies and tools is 22%. Uh, and so on. Uh, don't get yourself caught up and only study the top 2 or 3 and not pay attention to the least because you might miss the test by one question and it was because of cryptography PKI. Treat every objective the same, whether it's 22% or 12%. Okay, as you scroll through the objectives, um, they break them down into sub-objectives. So objective one, threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities, is broken down into multiple sub-objectives. Study these objectives. These are the questions that you will get from the test. Okay, they don't put this out for no reason. Like I said, if you study this material, you will pass the exam. Okay, they do a great job of telling you what is on it. It's your responsibility to study that. Okay, anytime you see given a scenario, those are either going to be your performance based questions at the beginning of the test, or they're going to be a long lengthy question within the test. I highly recommend skipping those and doing those at the end. Focus on the quick questions that you know the answer to. Anytime you have to go back two or three times and read the question over and over again, you're just going to waste your time and you're going to set yourself up for, did I get it right? Didn't I get it right? You're going to rush through it. You're going to look at the clock. You're going to think you're not going to have enough time to finish. Save those questions for the end. Okay, that's the number one recommendation I give to everybody, and they all come back and say they're so happy that they, they, they listened, because once that test starts, the anxiety builds up. There is the flag for review in the top right corner of the test. Use that flag button. If you don't know a question or you have to think about a question, flag it. Do it later. Go back to it. At the very end of the test, you'll be given a chance to go back over any questions that you flagged. It is the best option that CompTIA gives you. Highly recommend it. Use it myself and just see a lot better results when people use the flag for review option. So get yourself a copy of these objectives and start studying away. I recommend using Jason Dion's training videos. His videos are a great way of learning the material. He does a good job of correlating the material in a way that will help you remember it on the test. Uh, his, uh, his videos are like $9.99 a month and just a, uh, just a great resource to have. You should always have a textbook and a video resource when studying. The textbook I recommend is Get Certified, Get Ahead by Daryl Gibson. Okay, it is a study guide and it is built off of the objectives, okay? Um, his, his chapters are broken down by the objectives. So if you're having an issue with objective two, you can go to his textbook and see where objective two is. Or say you're having an issue with objective 5.3, you can go ahead and look, see where 5.3 is and study that in his textbook. It is by far, hands down, the best text out there. Uh, he gives you a 10% off voucher towards the test. And um, you just can't go wrong with these two study materials. Jason Dion Training and Daryl Gibson Get Certified, Get Ahead. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And good luck on the test.